I believe there's two worlds we live in. One is a world we call reality, where our perceptions color the world around us and uh, help us develop a world view. The other is a less structured, chaotic, cloudy dimension, the dream world. Uh, most of us are cognitively impaired during the dream experience, although some of us can grasp the strings that control the show, so to speak. They call it lucid dreaming. Some of you have experienced it, some of you have not experienced it. But dreams are situations, or a place where situations occur, where anything and everything is possible. Places seem familiar, yet unfamiliar. A person can be someone and someone else at the same time. Two different personalities, two different people as a whole. Um, recurring circumstances inhabit the dream world. And although they are the same circumstance, it seems there may be a shade different. So it's almost like deja vu combined with some sort of hallucination, some sort of experience. Feelings, activities, or things that you do or feel that may never happen in reality, at least on the surface, take place in dreams. Uh, fear of real or fictional things or characters happen constantly. In, the, in dreamland. You can fly, but sometimes you can't even scream. It's a world that fascinates me, and every night that I lie down and drift into this state, it's with an anticipation, a sense of wonder and excitement at the moving pictures of the theater of the mind. The dream reality is still a reality. It still exists on some dimension, some in some dimension, some parallel dimension with the reality that we're existing now. So the fascinating thing about dreams, there is a reality that we deal with every single night that we dream, we enter a different dimension of reality. Many people <coughs> who consider themselves rational thinkers want to dismiss this uh, as brain uh, flatulence, so to speak, but <coughs> or brain hiccups, or however you want to explain it. And that could possibly be the explanation for it. Some people want to give mystical powers to dreams or meanings to dreams, and that also could be true. I don't know the meanings of dreams. I don't know the purpose of dreams. I just experience them and enjoy the experience or try to realize that I'm in this experience and to make the most of this experience. I can lucid dream and it becomes a world where anything that I want can occur. And so I've tried to make it, I've, I've created a dream journal, been very revoltingly unfaithful to keeping it written down, but I believe that it's something that is meaningful to me. <coughs> well, I know it's meaningful to me, but I believe it's something that's me meaningful to humanity, whether it be mystical or whether it be rational or whatever. It's something that occurs for some reason, 
and I think the best thing to do is to learn as much as I can and to embrace it and to try to come up with a, um, a way to have more and more lucid dreams. And so that is one of my goals for the coming year.